Hello everyone and welcome back to John's Food Review. Today we're going to be trying Pillsbury Soft Baked Cookies Confetti. Um, I saw these and it said new. It's a new item, so I'm like, okay. But um, soft baked baked cookies confetti made with real butter as opposed to that fake stuff. So I think it's just one of those. Uh, Healing ones that you kind of need nails for. Seems. Come on. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like you can smell the butter, you can smell the confetti. They smell real. They smell really good. Ooh, they're so soft. They're soft. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna say it. So, the small cookie looks really good though. The tiny sprinkles and a little malformation. Not malformation. But... Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Taste what you would think confetti stuff would taste like. You know, like the birthday kind of stuff. And you got this nice little, like, nice buttery flavor. Hmm. That's really good. I really should have gotten milk. I have milk, but... I'm too lazy to get it. It's not really like milk milk. It's almond milk. It's like chocolate almond milk. And just wouldn't do the same. Like, when you have cookies, you need milk. Oh, that's good. Very colorful. There's just something very appealing about, like, cookies that have, like, colors. Like, um, kind of like the M&M's in them. There's just something appealing. You like, you know, you're gonna bite into it and just enjoy it. They're really soft. I wonder how these would be if you like put them into the oven. Hmm. And because it has like sugar on it, like the, you know, a little bit of sugar, you get a little bit of crunch. Hmm. That's really good. Yeah. Made with real confetti. Oh yeah. And now that I took some uh had a drink of water. Yeah, you can definitely taste the butter. Because I mean, really, all it is is a sugar cookie with the confetti type stuff flavor. So, I mean, you definitely can taste that buttery uh, flavor of it. Get a little sprinkles. That was really good. Would be even better with milk. And like I said, what would it be like if you put it in the oven? The peanut butter. But yeah, I saw the chocolate chip one. Um, if it was like a different type of chocolate chip, it had like the chocolate chips, but then like these longer uh rectangular chips in them i don't know if it was a different type of chocolate i saw those i'm like maybe next time because i do love i love me some chocolate chip and next time i'll remember to get some milk uh i, I know they have like little tiny nesquik ones uh little bottles that you can get so i just might pick up one of the personal size ones but these are really good 
like you said, you can taste the butter. I mean, that that's what the cookie is, pretty much butter. Uh, so, very buttery cookie itself. So if you took out the confetti part, it would just be a very buttery cookie. A very soft, soft, buttery cookie. But then you have the confetti, you know, that whole confetti flavor. I mean, it, it, it's confetti flavor. You're like, what the fuck? You, you know the taste. You you know the taste. You don't, it's, it's like I said, it's like a birthday cake type of, you know, thing going on. It's just really good. And it looks like they're using different size sprinkles. They've got the, the regular longer ones and they've got the little tiny, uh, tiny ones. Would have been really great is if if um like you can see the uh the sprinkles inside, but then maybe have like the colorful like um maybe like if instead of for the sugar instead of just plain plain regular sugar, if they add some of that colorful sugar on top. Um. Yeah, because when you look through the cookie. cookie I mean, it's not going to pick up on the camera, but when you look through, you can see little sugar. But to make it more confetti, because when you really look at it, it's colorful, but when you, you don't think confetti. So it would be really great if it had like more of a color, like maybe different colored uh, sugar on it to make it really pop. I mean, because really the color, it's like that color. This, it's like the color of my wall. It just looks like it's got little bits, you know, all throughout. But you can see that's really not a whole lot of color. You got orange and yellow down by my finger, and then a little bit of color up top, but so it's so barely noticeable. So a little bit of uh, colored sugar would have gone a long way for this, but um, um. It's it's still good the way it is. Like I said, I do like the little bit of the crunch from the little sugar that they added. Kind of separates because the, the 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 sprinkles themselves really aren't crunchy. <laughs> They're just as soft as the cookie is to. So it's it's for me it's all about that whole uh, textural thing. You've got to have something. It's like like I said when you're eating like a burger or something like that, you don't want soft things the entire time. You want something to break up. Because it's like a burger, you've got your, you know, your buns and your meat, and all of it's extremely soft. You want something to add a little bit of a crunch uh, to kind of separate and cut through the, uh, the that singular flavor or singular uh, texture. So I think with these, uh, adding a bit more of the like colorful sugar would have not only given it more of a texture, but also made them pop a little more. Because uh, they are pretty bland to look at. I mean, even on the package, I mean, they're a lot more colorful in the package, but not by much. So I think adding something to really make it pop would have been, would have been great. But I like the flavor. I love that nice buttery cookie. I love the confetti flavor. If I just had milk, it would have been great. But, um, yeah, when I, um, I'll pick up the the other ones when I go to uh, Dollar General next time. Uh, those were just there was three new uh, items of cookies. There was the chocolate chip ones, which they're just soft baked chocolate chip. If you've had one, you've had them all. Um, there were those the confetti ones, and then like I said, there was like a chocolate chip one, but it had like a longer rectangular chocolate piece in it. So I don't know if it was a different type of chocolate. I don't I don't know, but I'll try those next time. But other than that, they're nice. I still have to try the Pop Tarts too, the fucking apple fritter and um, the Eggo. I mean, I've got them sitting here and I want to use, you know, the toaster and then um, eat them that way because I don't think they'll be very good regular. They have to be heated up. But, um,. Yeah. Yeah. It, um. When will I go out next? I might go out again tonight. Maybe. Possibly. 
Depends on how I'm feeling. I mean, I'm feeling a whole lot better, so. Seems like a good night's sleep was actually really what I needed, so. Four or five nights of no sleep, and it's obviously that's going to take your take its toll on you. A toll house on you. I, just, I want some toll house fucking cookie dough. I don't care what kind. There's like the ones that are actually the actual edible when you can just take it out of the tube and eat it or whatever. And then there's the ones that they say you're not supposed to eat. You will do it anyway. I, I just want cookie dough. Sounds really good. Anyways, the Pillsbury soft baked cookies, confetti flavor. It's worth it. So if you guys see them, pick them up. Um, let me know what you guys think of them. But other than that, you guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.